right, now we're back on. All right, our camera just, I just, you know, I just downloaded the, what do you call it, the, the uh, changes, what do they call them when you have to calibrate your phone every once in a while? Well, an update. Update, I just updated my phone. All right, here we go, let's see here for ESP, we're gonna go in here and show you the shower. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. Oh, it's 72. Good deal. All right, we don't have our microphone on, so we'll try to be a little loud. All right. I'm going to let Tom take it over from here, show you what he's doing. If you can get in there with that. All right. So we're going to take a shower valve and just replace the guts. So what you'll need is a number three metric. And then for this one, you don't need a screwdriver, but you may need pliers, but I already loosened it up. So I'll show you where. Hey, show, take a picture of that valve right now. What are you looking for? All right. Yep. There we go. There's sour valve. So you need the number three Allen metric. All you do is loosen this up. A couple turns. That pulls off. Okay. I was putting... Okay. You can hold that one. Yep. All right, and then you got this trim plastic piece, which you just turn it, pops out. Yep. All right, and then here's your shower valve. This is the only one you may need a pair of pliers for. Okay. Loosen it. I already loosened it up. Can you hand me those open in right there? Yeah. yeah. So you just take this right here, loosen that up. I already did it by hand, so it's good. Good. That's it. So you Make sure your water's turned off, first of all. Oh yeah, turn yeah. the water off. Turn the water off. It's underneath the house, there's a ball valve. Yeah. Yep. Turn the shower on, get the pressure out of the line, unscrew this, and then this part, it's got a little triangle that lines it up in here. Can you get that triangle? Can you shoot in there and get that? So this, what? how does it line up, Tom? That little triangle, just okay, a little so notch right in there. Oh just, yeah, look at that. Just pull that Perfect. out. Perfect. All right, and what you want to do is, this side is your hot. You can see on this, it's marked right here. Yep. H and C. On the valve itself, when you pull it out, it's got an H, which indicates the hot side. Yep. So when you put the new one back, you want to make sure H lines up with this side. All right. Perfect. So that's it. A lot and of times. You, and, where's you, and then you just, the new one. Will look just like this. Okay. It'll have the H indicating the hot side. So a lot of times, if the spring and seats go bad, or if it freezes and breaks, whatever it is. Yeah. Take this out. Take the new one with the H lining up with this side. Get real close, Mark. And that triangle, it's got this rubber gasket. Just push it in till it snaps. Right there. That's it. Okay. And, and you, you put take, your. Yeah. This part. That actually holds it from pushing out when the water yeah. turns on. I just go hand tight. That's all yep. I ever do. So just hand snug. Take your hand tight's like a wrench, though. <laughs> <laughs> take this trim piece, slide it back on. That's it. Slide this handle back over. That's on the off position. Of course, straight up is on. And then if you adjust your skull guard, that's all the way to hot. Hey, while we're doing this, can we do that skull guard thing? Yeah. You think I've done that good? on mine? Let's that's show it. how we can do right. that. Yeah. So again, you just take the handle off for that. All right. And then right here, I'll use this point. There's a little line on the top of this gray part. And this, you'll notice on here, it's got several different little notches right here, all right? And what you do is factory setting is right about there. That's factory. This line will line up with the line on the gray part. So you just pull that out. This far, farthest notch right here is where you want to line up with this notch. So you pull this out, turn it, and snap it back in. And it makes it hotter. That allows you to go further on the hot side. Got it. Yep. So if your water's not hot enough, your water heater says 120 degrees or whatever it is. Whatever you turned it up to. And you want it hotter in your shower, you've got to move this scald resistor yeah. to get hot water in your shower. Yep. Got it. That's it. And that's it. All you need is that. To get that handle off. Yeah. And that's a number three? Yeah. Got three. It. Yep. So then you just put that back on, snug this back up, you're done. Cool. Not much to it, is there? No. Nope. Really simple. These new ones are even more simple than the older ones. The older ones, you need a screwdriver to take it off. And yeah. So you stuff. don't have to take the trim kit off or anything. That's well, awesome. That's it. All right. Thanks, Tom. Yep. Gosh. Hope you like that video. Hope this helps you out. If you got a problem with your shower, this is how you do it. And we hope to bring you more videos like this to help you understand more about 
tweaking these houses, maintaining them, and taking care of them. All right? You guys have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Tuesday. we got Thanksgiving coming up, and I'm sure Amanda will be back tomorrow, and we got a couple good houses to show you she's going to be decorating. All right, have a great night.